A significant number of couples around the world face infertility problem every day. Sometimes there are loss of hopes in contributing to their next generations. Medical advancement and research have allowed patients without hope to see the lights again. Various infertility treatments are available in present days. The most common procedures are IVF or in vitro fertilization and ICSI are known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection. ICSI has received an immense popularity due to its high successful rates. ICSI is a specialized form of IVF treatment in which a single sperm that has been selected is injected into the center of the egg. While in IVF, the egg and the sperm are left in the laboratory tube to be fertilized on their own. Both ICSI and IVF treatment is an outside body fertilization. But the difference between ICSI and IVF is, for ICSI, we inject sperm into one egg by our technique, by a micro manipulation. But for IVF, we mix sperm and egg together and let sperm fertilize itself. So for ICSI, is the further step of IVF treatment. We use ICSI to increase the fertilization rate and success rate. For ICSI treatment, we divide it into two steps. The first step is to do an egg stimulation. We use a hormonal injection every day for around 10 days to stimulate all of the follicle or egg in the ovary. After it grows until uh, the optimal size, we do uh, ovum pickup using a needle to aspirate uh, each follicle to get an egg and use that egg to fertilize with a sperm and culture the embryo until five days or six days after fertilization, which is called a, a bratocyst embryo. When we get a bratocyst embryo, we cut the cell and do a chromosome test to choose the best one. This is the step of egg stimulation. And for step of uh, embryo transfer, we start from a period. Uh, when patient period come, we use a hormone to prepare the lining thickness. After the lining of the womb is thick enough, we do an embryo transfer from the, the prior month. We choose the best one to transfer into the womb. And after transfer for 10 days, we can get a blood test for a results of pregnancy. ICSI is recommended when sperm have poor morphology, meaning when they are shaped abnormally and when they have poor motility. In other words, when they do not move properly, this can affect penetration through the membrane of the egg. ICSI is uh, designed for the patient with a male factor, including abnormal sperm concentration, abnormal uh, sperm morphology and abnormal movement of sperm. But for the women who have abnormal function of the fallopian tube, including a uh, blockage of fallopian tube, that we can use all uh, for uh, ICSI procedure. But not only the patient with problem. For a couple who cannot find the cause of infertility, which is called the unspecified uh, infertility, we can also use uh, ICSI for treatment and also for every couple who need a best success rate in fertility treatment, ICSI is a better of choice. The primary benefits of ICSI is the enhanced fertilization rate that can increase the number of fertilized eggs that could be used to transfer to the uterus for higher chance of pregnancy or could be freeze for the future. The benefits of ICSI is uh, this is a gold standard treatment and uh, recognized as the best treatment for infertility couple. We can guarantee that this is the best and you can get the highest fertilization rate and the highest success rate from ICSI. But for uh, this advantage of ICSI, you need a time. You have to inject a medicine every day uh, for 10 days. And also because this is the uh, highest technology, so the cost is a little bit high. For a patient who wish to conceive but have not been able to do naturally, ICSI is certainly an ultimate option that can bring hopes to their lives. Blood tests give a fertility specialist a better understanding of the hormone level in the blood. Hormones are essential for regulating function in the body, which includes the development of the eggs, ovulation, and changes in the body. Fertility drugs will be used to help regulate hormone levels. 
but the blood test allows a specialist to be certain what medication should be prescribed and how patient's body will respond to fertility treatment. Before undergoing IVF, your blood test result will be used to assess the level of follicle-stimulating hormone in the system. This will give the doctor an understanding of the quality and number of eggs the patient may have. Blood tests can also note possible incompatibilities between the mother's blood type and father's blood type as well as the presence of potential genetic disorders, viruses, and diseases. Before making a decision to do an ICC or IVF, patients should do a basic investigation in your country such as for a woman. You should do a transvaginal ultrasound to check your womb, your ovary, and also a hormone to check your uh, ovarian function. And for a man, a basic uh, semen analysis is required. And then when you get a result, you can send us ahead. So we can preparation and make a plan for individual couple. And even more, uh, if you want to come here, you should start a multivitamin supplement, including uh, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin B, and fish oil Q10 to boost your uh, function of ovary and sperm. ICC is a safe and recommended technique that has been used as a treatment for infertility problem for the past 40 years. It is safe to say the procedure has the potential to cover a broad spectrum of infertility problem that many couples have been facing. Whether it being incomplete or strong sperm of the male patient or the growth of the female egg, the treatment can be adjusted to suit patients' individual conditions. With the help of the experienced embryologist, the quality of the embryo can be detected. This increases the opportunity to plan the pregnancy appropriately and make it easier to conceive when compared to natural methods. Wetany, Victory for Life Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.